Hi, I'm Celine here with NI's ECU test system, our first level integrated test system for medium complexity automotive ECUs. And I'm going to show you some tests running, uh, show you how the tests are set up, um, some uh, parallel execution and the time saved with that, as well as some cool software integration tools we have to make uh, setup even easier. So without further ado, what we've got here is our two ECUs, their um, engine control units. Uh, one is working as expected with the pretty lights. Um, the other one has a firmware issue, so we're going to see that show up in testing. Um, then to kind of hop over to my software setup, uh, we're using TestStand to uh, execute these test sequences, testing three different things. Uh, first, doing a battery power-up test, and then we're going to check the 5-volt reference sensor, and then do a pin impedance test. Um, so if I kind of dive into one of those sequences, this 5-volt reference sequence, you can see we're kind of enabling the different pieces of hardware, uh, an output signal to power the ECU, a key on signal from our SMU, and then we're reading that signal back, which we're expecting to be within 5 volts, um, or to be 5 volts. So a cool thing is we recognize not every test engineer is a driver software wizard. Um, and so what we've done is uh, developed the test and ECU toolkit, which allows you to configure instruments in Instrument Studio and import those configurations into test and directly. So all of these blue steps you see here have been configured with that. So I'll show you what that looks like. If we hop over to Instrument Studio here, you can see you can actually just use this kind of uh, drop down menu style, really easy input the limits um, to configure our, our different pieces of hardware here. Um, and you can actually see preliminary data, which is nice kind of when setting tests up or if you need to make a quick change, um, you can kind of just do stuff in here instead of hopping into like driver APIs and, and stuff like that. So I just want to show you that set up and again enabled by that toolkit we created for this. Um, so now I'll go ahead and run a test. So if we go execute, We'll see the test running. Again, we're testing these DETs in parallel, which is very exciting. Um, we have uh, the hardware in there to basically have double hardware, so each device has a designated SMU, DMM, etc. Great, so here are our tests, um, test results. So uh, as we expect, our DET0 failed. That's one with a firmware issue. We'll dive into that. And DET1 passed, which is excellent. So if I go over to DET0, um, it failed the battery power-up and the 5-volt test, which again expected because of the firmware problem, but passed the pin impedance test, which we would expect because that's kind of purely in hardware, checking those pins. So that's all as expected, and then this one is going to be kind of boring just because all green and nice, everything passed. Um, so that's great. Um, and again, these are parallel tests, which is really exciting, um, and empowered by the hardware and the fact that we have enough pins to kind of test those uh, exactly in parallel, and then testing also has cool auto-scheduling features um, to allow that parallel testing, which can save a ton of time on the production floor. Great, so we just saw uh, two engine control units get tested in parallel using NIS ECU test system and test stand software. Um, for more information about this test system, please visit ni.com slash ECUTS. Thanks for watching.